Hey everyone, it's me, Kimber, from the Backyard Horse Enthusiast. Well, today's episode is not about horses. Nope. As much as they are a passion of mine, today is about me. Because I've decided I want to dip my toes back into the dating pool. It's been two and a half years. Well, I haven't... Ha! <laughs> it's been two and a half years since Carl left. And... I, I haven't really felt like dating at all, but lately I've been thinking, is it possible? Can you meet people at my age? Like who's out there and where do you go to do it? So then I had this really brilliant idea. I'm going to enlist the help of chat GPT. Why not? They help with other things. Like they know they, they like their people like AI is pretty cool, right? For suggestions and stuff. So I thought, wouldn't this be fun to ask chat GPT where someone in my age bracket would go to meet quality people. So I'm going to do it and you're going to do it with me. Doesn't that sound like fun? Let's do this. Come on, let's go. Maybe you're of a certain age too, and you're curious. So I'm going to be the brave one and I'm going to delve into it and share it with you. All right, here we go. Hey, chat GPT. I'm just curious. I'm 61 years old and I'm wondering if you could suggest some matchmaking sites for older women like me. Of course, Kimber. Here are some popular dating sites for women in their 60s who are looking for love, companionship, or even just some fun conversation. Ourtime.com Perfect for singles over 50, Ourtime.com focuses on mature relationships. It's designed with older users in mind and even has easy navigation for those who aren't super tech savvy. All right, finally a site that's not going to make me feel like I need a degree in technology to use it. What else you got for me? Tailored specifically for singles over 50, Silver Singles uses a personality test to match you with compatible partners. It's ideal if you're looking for something serious. Oh, wow, a personality test. Now, if they could just test for how well they get along with horses. Now, that would be a perfect match in my book. All right. Well, so far, so good. I am intrigued at the very least. Do you have any other suggestions for me today? A well-known site that focuses on long-term relationships, eHarmony has a large community of singles over 50. It's a good option if you're ready to settle down. Settle down? Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to consult with Dakota and Tommy about this. I don't know, like settle down. I'm just dipping my toe into the dating pool. Oh, wow. Got anything else for me? For professionals over 50 who are still active in their careers or hobbies, Elite Singles offers a more refined dating pool. If you're looking for someone ambitious and driven, this might be your spot. Elite? Huh. Well, I guess I am looking for someone who can keep up with the horses, at the very least. That was quite the interesting chat, like literally a chat with ChatGPT. <laughs> I didn't even know there were that many options to choose from for women my age. But I guess it just goes to show that you're never too old to find love or even just find an adventure to go on, right? Whether it's riding horses or riding the dating wave, life's all about staying open to new possibilities. So here's the real question. Do I go ahead and take the plunge? I'm a little, I'm, I'm nervous. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you think I should give one of these sites or all of these sites a try. And if you're in your 60s and you're dating, I'd love to hear about your stories in the dating game, in the dating world. As always, I want to thank you for tuning into the Backyard Horse Enthusiast. And I hope today's episode was fun and lighthearted at the very least. And hey, it's all about the adventure, right? 
Oh my gosh. Remember, whether it's in the saddle or in love, we all deserve to live our best lives. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a moment with me or my crew, <laughs> Dakota and Dami. I'll see you next time. And who knows, maybe I'll even have an update on my dating escapades or not. We'll see. I might chicken out. But anyways, mwah, love to you all. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye-bye.